All right, color in Illustrator. Now we get, begin to process the fact that we can almost make uh, a fully vector, full vector illustration. Almost. We got shapes down, we got the essentials down, but we do not have color down at all. Nor will you any time in your lifetime, <laughs> because color is one of those things that you're always kind of uh, working at. Let's go to something in Illustrator. It's called Cooler. Okay, Cooler in CS4 um, has the ability to go in here and pick from most popular color schemes of all time, last seven days. Okay, let's say I search for something like I'm. I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking maybe cold ocean okay if I hit enter it'll look for cold ocean and give me something within that range isn't that amazing how about how about um, jelly bean um, I'm, t I'm telling you, it knows everything, okay? So it's like one of those things. I could type in um, cucumber sandwich there, and it'll it'll give me a color scheme based upon cucumber sandwiches. So these are color schemes all laid out, and what, what happens is, why there's so many, is when you get done with maybe like a, a certain panel of swatches, you can upload them to Cooler, and a panel of judges can tell you if they are convenient enough to actually be added to the cooler itself. I'm going to go back to highest rated. And I like this moonwalk right here. So what I'm going to do is add that to my swatches panel. And there it is. So now I could choose those. Now if I need to change these in some way, let's say I need to make these spot colors, I could do that by double clicking on it. You can make them into spot colors. So what I'm going to do here is so kind of show you how color lays out. It with these colors being so nice next to each other. If I hold Alt, I get another one. Alt, I get another one. Alt, I get another one. And this one, I'm going to go with uh, painting it this color, this one, this color, this color, this color, and maybe make a small circle in the center and painting it the right color. So with color, you always want to kind of put, I don't know, your shocking thing as your one thing that you're going to have everybody look at. Okay? This is, notice how your eye follows the hot color. Well, not be, just because I'm moving it around, but actually because it is what your eyes focus in on more. It'll fo always focus in on this hot color. If I change this to yellow, okay, I see yellow right off the bat. But if I change it to a muted color like, oh, take for example this, suddenly the next color that jumps into perspective is this red. Okay, now that we've seen cooler and how to apply colors using it, we're going to start using um, the blob tool a little bit and showing you how to fill color within shapes that are made by hand instead of just spheres and cubes and everything else. And that's in the next video.